Hey guys, today I want to show you my newest puzzle, the MF8 Terraminx. Okay, so this is the MF8 Terraminx. I'm sorry I don't have an unboxing for it, but I just got this for a late Easter present for my grandma. And, um... This thing, I just got done lubing it and tensioning it. Here's all the center caps. Um, now it actually turns pretty good. It's um, very smooth now. Before when I first got it, it was extremely locky. Um, it's kind of fast. It actually can corner cut, but it is prone to popping. Um, the worst part about this puzzle is I have to sticker it all. So at least I have application tape for that. Um, I use so much Marble Lube. Uh, this thing was full. Now look at it. But it was worth it. This thing does turn very nicely. Let's do a couple size comparisons. This is next to a 57 millimeter cube. It is very big. And then I have the Gigaminx here and then a regular Megaminx. I'm definitely getting the Petaminx for either my birthday or Christmas. I'm just going to switch it off for my birthday. I'm either going to get the Petaminx or the 13x13. 13 13. And my birthday I'm going to get the Petaminx or 13x13. 13 13. So we'll see how that works out. Um, the Mega... The Gigaminx is a lot smaller than this, and then a Megaminx is obviously a lot smaller as well. Um, the, they're, these are both MF8. Um, this one is now turning a lot better than it was. The Gigaminx is very good, actually. It's pretty fast. You can finger trick it, and then I don't have a MF8 uh, Megaminx. This is just a Shang Shao, but um, yeah, it's pretty good. So I just wanted to show you um, this puzzle. Um, I probably will be doing a solve on it of, instead of doing like a 10 by 10 solve because I think this might be more entertaining to solve. Um, so yeah, um, look forward to that. Um, please subscribe. This is just a short video. I just wanted to show you that I got this. And I'll see you guys later.